Bible says he crowned the year with goodness. So we thank God that this prayer is coming this time. So we are, we are, is to remind God of his blessings. And to tell him, for adventure, there are some ancient doors that are saying no to our need. Please, <laughs> break them open in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, um, okay, Father, we appreciate you for bringing us again this morning for prayer. Glory to your name. Father, Lord, we thank you for the end of the year. Twelve good months of your faithfulness. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for what you are about to do in our lives again through this prayer. Thank you for the last set of series of prayer meeting. Thank you, Lord, because you are going to do wonders again through this one. Thank you, Jesus, because you are God. Thank you, Lord, because you are always great. Thank you, Lord, for over and over and over and over. You have always come through for us. At the point that people think we are going to be put to shame, you have always come through as a God that will never let his people be put to shame. Thank you, Jesus, for not putting us to shame. Thank you, Jesus, for being our all in all. Blessed be your holy name. Father, we are here this morning. Please take all the glory. Please take charge. Teach us how to pray. Take control of this prayer meeting. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let this one come into my mind. So let the stars grow high. The dark clouds rise. Don't worry me, for I am sheltered within the hands of Lord, hands of God. He walks with me, and not of it. Can I me shall save within the arms of God? So let the Rise, the dark storm rise, they won't worry me, for I am sheltered safe within the arms of God. He walks with me, and not of earth can harm me, shelter safe within. The arms of God. So let the storm go high. The dark clouds rise. They will worry me. For I am sheltered safe. Within the arms of God. He walks with me. And the knot of hands can arm me. I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. Amen. So that's our hymn. <laughs> it's actually an encouraging song to me that I. I don't care what the devil is, is saying. I'm shut up safe in the arms of God. All is going to be well. Like our Bible passage of yesterday that I have said that the Lord of the phone. And I know I would not be ashamed. So this one is is confirmation of backing it up. It is a support that I'm shelter within the arms of God. Let the storm go high. Let the dark clouds rise. They won't worry me. They won't bother me. Because I'm shelter safe within the hands of God. We thank God for this assurance. We thank God for this. Um, what do call this now? Yes, an assurance. This um, thing we can rely on. I think it's still like. This word of God, we can rely. 
they are sheltered citizens. There is no harm that will harm us. There is no harm that will meet us in, in that harm of us. We thank God. We thank God. I, will, I, told, I told you in the last video that I was praying through the night. It got to 5 a.m. I think, was it 5 or 6? I was like, let me just force myself asleep. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, please calm my spirit down. I know my spirit is up. Please help me to calm down. Because I know all is well. All is fail. It's a turn to testimony. So, and I woke up with this song this morning. I even thought I was going to um, sing it out, but I thought I don't know the lyrics of the verses. And the verses are like, like, not really, really what I want. <laughs> the chorus is what I want. So that's why I'm singing it on the prayer video. So thank God because He can rely on me. And never, He has never failed and He will not fail. He will not start now. He will never fail. <laughs> it's not a matter of maybe after a while, then He will. No, He will not. <laughs> He doesn't know how to fail. It's one of the things he does not know how to do. He will never fail. God will never fail. God will never disappoint. God is not like man. I promise you all your everything, like one of the videos I did just now. One of the things that make you the head is making your promise and making sure you fulfill it. You promise a woman I will marry you. Even though you're not going to marry a woman, then don't promise. Wait till the time you are really, really sure. I am ready to settle down. I want this woman. She, we, we move. We, we, she's like bone of my bone because she understands me. Before you make such a trance, don't just make a trance out of reflex action. When you are doing that, you are losing your authority. You are, what do we mean by being head? Being head is having authority. You are losing your authority. A lot of men don't have their authority. Very soon, by God, we will still come and talk about men's sexuality and men's authority. I did it before on, I think, Facebook and YouTube. But this time, we want to do it on Instagram. It's something very important. Very, very important. You can't be, you can't be claiming head and you are not acting like head. It's not correct. It's not correct. If you really, really so much care about that title, you really, really care so much about that respect, then act like, like the real head that God is saying that you should be. Don't act like an irresponsible person and then expect it. You will not have it. You will have a woman who is under labor because of you. You will have a woman who is unhappy because of you. And when you have a woman who is unhappy, you are not being the head. You are being a bully. You are being a villain. You are being a wicked person. She's unhappy, but she's still trying to respect you. That is what slaves do. And that is that is idolatry in, in African worship in the olden days. That is why they see women because they are weak. That is what they do to women. But if you are a child of God, you call yourself a Christian, you don't want to be an idolater, then act like a Christian. Don't claim you are a child of God, you are a Christian, but you are acting like an idolatry worshiper. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't match. They are opposites. So I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I just chip it in because it's it's ungenu <laughs> me. But I like I have to calm myself down and come back to do it as a topic. So today we are going into a new video. A new Bible series, uh, a new prayer series. Open doors. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the network. Thank you for the daylight. Thank you for everything. Blessed be your name. Father, as we are here again, please take all the glory. Take charge. Come and join us in this prayer meeting. I know you have a lot of wonders you want to do through this prayer meeting. That is why you have brought it up at this time. Father, Lord, please let all you have planned, let them be fulfilled in our lives in Jesus' name. Take all the glory. Take charge. I 
at the end of this prayer meeting, let us become all glory to you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Um, okay, don't let us don't let us rush it. Let's do it step by step. Let's um, thank God for another new day. Yesterday we came here. We said, God, help us to be consistent. Look at it. <laughs> God answers prayers. Is this little, little answer to prayers say, that make me to know that my prayers are being answered? It might look like I have not seen the result. I have not seen what God has done. But look at the small, small things we pray for. This means God answers prayers. So we want to thank God because he answers prayers. We want to thank God for not putting us to shame. We want to thank God for all this coming true for us at last minute miracle. We really want to appreciate God because He alone deserves our praises at a time like this. We want to thank you for another bright day. Imagine if there is no bright day. <laughs> Everywhere is just dark. How will we do video at this point in time? So we want to thank God for bright day you want to also thank you for the night time that we have to sleep because if it's all bright throughout the day that means we don't have time to sleep <laughs> so we want to really thank god for being perfect it's all these things that make us to know that god is perfect we can't we can't have any side of him that we say ah this side is not correct that is why i don't think god is happy with people who covers their head with I don't think God is happy with it. What are you trying to portray? That God hasn't beautifully made your hair? A lot of people will pay to watch that hair. They will pay to, like, real money. Like, oh, I love this hair. Some will even want to touch it. But you, you, you consciously feel that you, you are more beautiful in what God has made. I don't think God will be happy saying that. Really, I don't know what makes women to do it. Because if you ask men, they will tell you they don't care about it. But I don't know. I really don't know. And I don't think it's, it's just in the women that they just want to feel uncomfortable. Because these things make them very uncomfortable. But I, I, I don't know what to say really, but but I, I still believe that everything God has created is perfect. You're beautiful the way you are. Imagine God gave you nails when you don't feel comfortable with it. You have to have extra nails that makes you feel uncomfortable. But I don't know. I or maybe it is it is something called confidence that gets lost from the woman. You get? I'm just thinking wild. Like you feel you are not good enough. You are not enough. You are not beautiful. You are not perfect. You are not. Stop feeling like that. Look at a lot of girls online today, shaking eyes, twerking and all that. It's out of insecurities. Out of not feeling enough like okay maybe my man wants who sent you to be to be caring about what a man wants who sent you that kind of message a man <laughs> be you be yourself i don't know i don't know why i don't think like that i don't know i'm i'm still thinking to myself why i'm not thinking like this i should start getting myself worried about okay maybe this man wants a woman that is shaking i could claim that i will not I won't. If you don't see me beautiful like I am, go. Go. It simply means we don't match. You don't see the beauty of God in me. You don't see the value that God has deposited in me. So why do I need to force myself for you to like me? And look at it, a lot of you girls, once you get a man by doing all those kind of things that are inconvenient for you, you continue to do it. You continue to make yourself uncomfortable just to keep this man. Why? A man that makes you feel uncomfortable just to keep him. Don't you know that you're already in, in 
uncomfortable zone. Later the marriage will break, you now be wondering where did this go wrong. It went wrong from the beginning. The foundation was faulty from the beginning. Because it wasn't based on true love. It wasn't based on true acceptance. You get a woman because she has fake hair, uh, fake eyelashes, fake everything. Then you suddenly want her to be truthful. You suddenly want her to 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 speak and 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 all what she's saying is the right thing. I don't know how you think, oh, because me, once I I think through every situation, I think deep. I know you men, you don't think deep. You just make decision based on the top top, the toppings of a cake. That is your own decision. But with the spirit of God, you can make deep decisions. You can make good decisions we are talking too much <laughs> i think it's because i i started with uh discussions but you know sha we are still thanking god so we want to thank god for how perfectly he has made us too how beautifully he has made us if you think i'm not beautiful enough you don't see me because i don't have fake eyelashes you have not seen that i have eyelashes because i don't say fake one that will be doing and other like this you feel i don't have eyebrows i'm not a fake one you feel i don't have lips you, like, you, you just think anyhow you think i you you think you cannot see me enough like this unless i have a fake hair that i'm flinging like this like it's not my hair oh ring you don't see, <laughs> you don't blind. Everything <laughs> You think you have not seen me because I don't have a fake nails that makes me uncomfortable. You don't see, you don't get eyes. You don't get eyes at all. You don't blind. If you can't see me, then you don't you don't have eyes. I'm beautifully, wonderfully, perfectly made by the Almighty God. That created day to give us brightness. That created night to make us to rest. That made everything perfect. To God be the glory. And you, you now make me to feel like God has not created me well. So I have to recreate myself to fit in into your imagination. No, 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 no. Never, never. It will not happen. Like, like, oh, nearly Shelley. I'll continue to appreciate how God has created me. I'll continue to show His glory. Clean my hair. Make sure it's neat. This morning, I'm going to remake this hair because it's already rough. I'll make it more beautiful, more attractive by appreciating it, how God has made it. That is it. God is perfect. God is perfect. He knows what you need. He knows everything. In my in my life, in my in my situations, I have noticed that there are some things I pray for. I be like, God, please, this one. God will not answer some of them because He He has a better plan. Later on in life, I'll say, Ah, God, I thank you. I thank you that you didn't answer that prayer that time. Thank you, Lord, for how you have. Though it wasn't easy for me to to accept that God was not going to answer you, but later on, I will see that Ah, so this is the reason, God, to you be glory. It means God is perfect. He will not make mistakes. He will not disappoint. He will not put you in a situation where you will be doubting, does God really love me? He actually does. And everything he does will make you to know that he loves you. So why why then will he now come to the, to the part of your looks that you suddenly start thinking that God is not perfect? Some of you give the imagination or the, the excuse that you are trying to announce what God has created. Are you sure in your heart of heart that is what you are doing? Or you are recreating? Be factual with yourself. Don't don't assume. And, and a lot of these uh, things you are doing is not adding beauty. It's just changing your structure. Changing whom you are because you have sighted somebody that looked like that and you felt that person looks more beautiful than why will you think that you are not beautiful? Somebody else is looking at you from afar and say, Ah, wow, this lady is beautiful. As I am like this, that that 
and black lady. Do you know how many white people admire me every time? Because I look different and I'm still shining in that difference, in that beauty that God has created me. By the time you are feeling, oh, that person looks old. Oh, I like the way he flings her hair. This your hair is more beautiful the way God has created you. God doesn't have to create everybody with fluffy, a bit silky hair. Why? Then how do you prove that God is powerful? But what do you find? You see people covering it up with fake hair, becoming bowed under their head, but that fake hair continually stays on their head, making them feel like they are beautiful. You are not beautiful. You are just trying to feel that you are not beautiful. You are just trying to feel that God has not done the best. And it's not good. Put yourself in that shoes. You do something perfect for somebody, and then the person keeps telling you you have not done enough. You don't know how to do anything. How will you feel? How will you feel? And this same person is perfect in all ways. He's perfect in his creations. He's perfect in everything. But when it comes to you, you start feeling it's not perfect. It's wrong. It's wrong. Yes, this is our prayer meeting. We, we, we advise ourselves in the things of God. And at the same time, we pray. It is doing the will of God that helps us to have answers to prayers that please God. There are people who have answers to their prayers, but the, the answers to their prayers is just answers to prayers. It's not bringing them closer to God, but our own. As we are, we are getting answers to our prayer, we are also getting closer to God. May God help us. Amen. So let's all do the opening, the preamble prayers, because I've talked so much. It's 21 minutes, 56, 57 seconds. So let's pray. Father, Lord, I thank you for this morning. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we have to thank you for everything. We have to thank you for creation. We see flowers, they are beautiful. We see trees, they are beautiful. We see the seasons, they are beautiful. It shows your power. Everything you have created is beautiful. The daylight is beautiful. The night time is beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Our creation, the way you created us, is beautiful. We appreciate it, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You give us good nails. We don't need to add extra nails to destroy the one you have created. You give us good hair, so we don't need to have extra hair to destroy the hair you have created. You give us good eyebrows, you give us good lips, and the good colors for the lips. We don't have to come and come and add extra red to, 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 to deceive people that our lips is red. We don't have to, to recreate our, our face that, okay, it has to be to a particular way before it's beautiful. We don't have to add extra eyelashes because you made everything beautiful. Thank you. God of creation, God of perfection, that creates all things beautifully. We bless you. We appreciate you. We glorify you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. We appreciate you. Ah, be lifted high. Oh, Lord, be lifted high. For you are holy, righteous, and worthy. Thank you, blessed only name. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Father, as we have come this morning, use the blood of Jesus to wash our sins away. Everything that will not allow you to answer our prayers, Father, let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Father, come and take control of this prayer meeting. We pray for the Spirit of God, the power of God to come down. Every power in the heavenlies or in the environment that is coming against prayer, we send them into exile. We send them into bondage in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for answer prayers. Blessed be your holy name. Father, come and teach us how to pray. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Yes, this is the reason why I like this prayer meeting. The Lord is, is, is as if it's, it's a way of connecting directly to God. I don't know. Sometimes I will not get them while I'm sitting down praying personally. But when I come on life of prayers, the Lord will open my understanding. And as I close my eyes a few minutes ago, the Lord opened my mind that we should pray for Ukraine. We are using two Bible passages. The first one is this Psalm 46 verse 9. Or maybe you should read everything. They will now pick, now pick that line. 
God is our, Psalm 40 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of us. She shall not be moved. This is the, the promise of God for Ukraine. Ukraine shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. We shall not be moved in the name of Jesus. God shall help her and that's right early. Amen. The promise is for us. It's for Ukraine. Amen. The hidden raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The heart melted. That is the power of God. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. Amen. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What's the solutions he has made in the earth? He maketh worlds to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burned the chariots in the fire. That's the place we want to use to pray. Be still and know that I am the Lord. I am God. That's the promise of God for Ukraine. Be still because God will show himself as God over Ukraine in the name of Jesus and over our lives too. In Jesus' name, amen. I will be exalted among the hidden. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. Lord Jacob in Amen. That's verse 9. He make it worse to cease unto the end of the earth. Father, make it worse to cease in Ukraine. In the name of Jesus. Maybe it's sin, you know, that is causing war in Ukraine. You know. Maybe they, they have done something bad in the past, too. Because... The Bible says somewhere, it says, a good thing they did what? Now I see it, I barely they quote it. Like, there's no cause without without a cause. Without a reason. Look at the Israelites. When they wanted to crucify Jesus, they said, let the blood be on them and their children. When the Roman Empire came into, into, into government, they dealt mercilessly with them. Because of that blood, they said they wanted to be on their head. When God took Israelites to slavery, it's because Abraham did something that God didn't like. Then he made promise that your children will go into slavery. Maybe there is a sin that the forefathers of Ukrainians have done. We don't know. We don't know. Shibi, gospel started in Europe, baby. How do I put it? When they left Jerusalem, they started coming to Europe. Who knows? Maybe there was a time they didn't receive it. Maybe there was a time they did bad thing to people that brought the gospel. We don't know. Although there is gospel in Ukraine, we thank God for that. And God is with Ukraine, we thank God. But we want to ask, please make walls to cease in Ukraine. Whatever sin that is, that is making you to allow this in Ukraine, please forgive. Forgive. Let your mercy work and forgive. In the name of Jesus, in one word, let us pray. Father, Lord, make wars to cease in Ukraine. Make wars to cease in Ukraine. Make attacks to cease in Ukraine. Anybody that is saying he want to send attack again, Father, destroy them. Send the attacks back to their heads. In the name of Jesus, Father, make wars to cease in Ukraine. Every sin of the forefathers that is causing this at this time, Father, please forgive. Father, please forgive. Father, please forgive. King of glory, please forgive. Forgive, O Lord. Forgive, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you have answered us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The next part of that verse now it says, "It breaks the bow, O Shion, and cut the spear and sword. Okay, of course, image and burning the chariots and fire. Okay, okay, okay. You know, these three things we want to pray for it for Ukraine. Oh Lord, break the bow, cut the spear and sword, burn the chariots and fire. In the name of Jesus, who are Ukraine? Break the bow, cut the spear in sunder, burn the chariot of fire. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Oh Lord, over Ukraine, Father, break the bow, cut the spears in sunder, burn the chariot of fire. In the name of Jesus, over Ukraine, oh Lord, Father, break the bow, cut the spears in sunder, burn the chariot of fire. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in Ukraine, oh Lord, share room. Olua ke oko se meji fi keke ogun jono ni oruko Jesu Jesu omo lafia lori Ukraine Olua share orun 
ke o kosi meji fi keke ogun juno lori ukraine se orun ke o kosi meji fi keke ogun juno fi ara re obi alagbara let there be no more attack over this country king of kings lion of the tribe of judah we have asked for forgiveness that if per avenger there is any sin that you you are you that is making this to happen we have asked that you should forgive father as we have asked for that we are not praying father sees war over ukraine let there be no attacks in Ukraine again. In the name of Jesus. Father, break the, break the bows. Father, Lord, call the, call the, the spears in solar. And burn the chariots in fire. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, show yourself as God. Prove yourself as God. Let there be no loss of lives. In the name of Jesus. Let there be no destruction of properties again. Let there be no destruction of any good things or amenities again. In the name of Jesus. Everything that has been destroyed. Father, restore them. Most High God, restore them. King of glory, restore them. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. They want to pray this. Uh, I think the last time we prayed for Ukraine, I was quoting it little by little. But today I want to read it. That is God being the light. Jesus Christ being the light. Let's read. That's John chapter 1 from verse 1. I will read from that place and we pick the line. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In the name was life, and the life was the light of men. Hmm. And the light shined in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. What all this, the past we are taking is that uh, 4 and 5. In him was light, and the life was the light of men. It means Jesus is the light of men. Jesus is the light of men. Come and dwell in the queen. The light that shines in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend. Come and shine in Ukraine. Send darkness out of Ukraine. In the name of Jesus. Darkness is not a good thing. When there is darkness, there is evil. There is fear. There is... Um, there is all sorts of things. You are not comfortable. A lot of things don't move when there is darkness. Jesus Christ, you are the light. Come and take your place in Ukraine. Jesus Christ the light, come and take your place in Ukraine. Shine your light that darkness cannot complain. When you come into Ukraine, Jesus, I know that darkness will get out of Ukraine. Jesus, come and shine your light in Ukraine. Now send darkness out in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ the light of the world, please come and shine your light in Ukraine. Jesus, come and take your place in Ukraine. Send darkness out of Ukraine. In the name of Jesus, every power, any principalities controlling darkness in Ukraine, Father, send them into exile. Put them into bondage. Father, Jesus Christ, the light of the world, come down in Ukraine. Come down to Ukraine. Come down to Ukraine. Come and take your place in Ukraine. Jesus, the light of the world, come and take your place in Ukraine. Jesus, come and take your place in Ukraine. Jesus, come and take your place in Ukraine. Jesus, the light of the world, come and take your place in Ukraine. Send darkness out. Come and take your place. Come and reside in Ukraine. Jesus, the light of the world, that shines and darkness cannot comprehend. Please take your place in Ukraine. Send darkness out. Every power controlling darkness, send them out. So wherever we are, it's actually a blessing. Using some the head is and funeral, God and they that dwell therein. For you have founded it upon the seas, and established upon the cross. Who has sent you? Who has sent you in holy place? He that has cleanness and power, who has not dropped his soul to unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek the Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. That is where we are going now. Father Lord, every ancient doors. That are standing in my way of progress. Father, let them be lifted up this morning. In the name of Jesus. There are some goodness. That we are overdue for. Lord, I need to 
job. The Asian doors are as they say no to it. Finally, they'll be lifted up. When they are lifted up because the king of glory wants to come in. That court that Jesus Christ rode into Jerusalem. When they, they went there, he said, they, because the master needs it. Because God wants to come into my life. Because God wants to manifest himself in my life. Let all the doors begin to open. The king of glory, because he's moving in now. Because he wants to march me forward into my progress. Every Asian door is open. Open by fire. Open, 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 open. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, King of glory. You say, who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. He is a King of glory. The King of glory, as you enter into the progress of my life now, you are leading forward and I'm following after. Every Asian door, say they begin to open. Let them be lifted up. In the name of Jesus. Every ancient door that I will stand in the way of my progress be lifted up because the King of Glory wants to come in, and I am the one going after this King of Glory to go into my progress. Every ancient door that I will stand against me having a good job in high places be lifted up, be lifted up, be lifted up in the name of Jesus. All ye gates be lifted up, every ancient door be lifted up, every gate be lifted up, be lifted up in the name of Jesus. I move into my progress in the name of Jesus. I move into having a good and stable job in the name of Jesus. I move into my goodness in the name of Jesus. Every shall doors be open. Every shall doors be open. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. Because the King of Glory wants to come in. In the name of Jesus. Every doors that has been put down in my family background, in my in my in my father's house, in my mother's house, that glorious children should not enter into. Father, let them be lifted up. Be lifted up. A glory is okay. Let there be open doors before me. Every door that has been long closed be opened by fire. Doors of good jobs be opened by fire. Be opened by fire. Be opened by fire. Be opened by fire. In the name of Jesus, every sin that is causing these closed doors, Father, forgive. Lord of Jesus, forgive. Every anybody that has making a spiritual exchange in the spiritual that has taken words I am supposed to be using for progress. Ah, Father, I receive it back. I collect it back by fire. In the name of Jesus, I collect my possessions by fire. In the name of Jesus, enough is enough of just watching people doing great things and, and still seeing myself in the same spot. Father, I leave this same spot and move by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering my prayers. Jesus, name we have prayed. Amen. So that's the end of the prayer. So we want to end off. Father, we thank you for this morning's prayer meeting. We appreciate your name. Father, Lord, uh, we thank you for our prayers. Father, as we are going into the day, into the into the day, please go with us. Bless us. Father, we are we are waiting on you for important progress. Father, please let it be in the name of Jesus. Open the windows of heaven and let rains of blessings come down into our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. As we go into today, Father, let people begin to bless us for greatness. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Uh, thank God. Have a great day. By God's grace, tomorrow you will come back again. <laughs> I love this consistency. You know, I told you, this prayer meeting is like commanding the atmosphere to favor us. And it makes us to be in the spirit. It makes us to understand seasons and times because we are